We have talked about the theoretical concepts of a decentralized organization. But the question of application and utility remains. Can DAOs work in the real world? Hi, I'm Rashan Gidwani, and you're watching the final part of our Finance Zen DAO series. And in this episode, we are going to examine some actual DAOs and whether they work in the real world. The short answer to that question is yes, they can. To illustrate, here are some examples of real world DAOs, just to name a few. The examples I've just shown you are some of the more popular DAOs that currently operate. For the most part, the DAO concept is commonly adopted by organizations in the DeFi space or decentralized finance for those of you who are wondering. But if DAOs are so great, why isn't the concept being adopted on a wider scale? Why are we not seeing more traditional organizations turn themselves into a DAO? In theory, the DAO concept makes for an excellent decentralized alternative. It has undoubtedly changed the way we think about organizational structure and automation, but it still falls short of demonstrating its utility for real-world organizations. For one, it is still quite difficult to have smart contracts completely replacing human managers in traditional organizations. While the technology is capable of automating many tasks, there's still a long way to go for it to intuitively recognize and solve problems. For example, if operations at a production plant are disrupted, a smart contract may be unable to determine the best timing to begin order placements. A human manager, on the other hand, may be able to evaluate both little and large difficulties and make the best choice more quickly. Furthermore, while smart contracts are able to solve trust concerns in transactions, it takes a human to develop and maintain trust in organizations and communities. As a result, despite their outstanding features and uses, DAOs are still far from being used widely in the real world. DAOs need to go through major adjustments and technological advances must be made in order for DAOs to be used at scale. To further illustrate the challenges of adopting the DAO concept in the real world, let's talk about one of the most well-known DAOs, also known as the DAO. The DAO was an early pioneer of a decentralized organization that launched in 2016 on the Ethereum blockchain. It was set up as a venture capital fund. Through its initial token sale, the DAO successfully raised 150 million US dollars worth of Ether and became one of the largest crowdfunding campaigns ever with about 11,000 investors. The DAO was a high profile project that was one of the earliest to build on the Ethereum blockchain. It was an exciting time for the blockchain space, and I should add that Ethereum was only one year old at the time. However, less than three months after it was launched, the DAO was hacked and about 60 million US dollars worth of Ether was siphoned out of the organization. Since it is open sourced, hackers had exploited the vulnerabilities in the DAO's code. Specifically, hackers had targeted a bug in the DAO's wallet smart contracts. This eventually led to a split or what is known as a hard fork on the Ethereum blockchain. Today, the original blockchain that still has the hacked money is known as Ethereum Classic, while the new blockchain is the more known Ethereum that we have today. The hard fork caused much tension and divided the community, but that's a lesson for another episode. Why are we telling you the story of the DAO? The epic failure of the DAO, despite the high stakes involved, is a case in point as to why decentralized autonomous organizations are still far from being widely adopted by other organizations. It offers many lessons on the challenges of implementing this radical concept in the real world. On that note, we have come to the end of this DAO series. Before I go, let me leave you with something to think about. Are we ready for a future where most organizations are fully decentralized and run by smart contracts instead of people? Leave your comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow our page for more learning and I will see you in the next Finance Zen series. Till then, ciao!